you help me with the chores? I've been practicing my singing and my dancing, and Ma said I didn't have to do no chores when I was practicing. You ain't practicing nothing. I seen you yesterday playing with a Hopkins boy in the barn after you told Ma you was doing your singing lesson. You're just too sneaky for your own good. What you doing peeking at me anyway? Who says I can't look in a barn any time I want to? You're just mad because the boys don't pay you no never mind. <laughs> you little... Jenny? Jenny, you come back here! <laughs> oh! Oh! No! Jenny! Oh! I'm gonna get you! Jenny! Sing your radio down by the pig pen, Billy Joe. Oh, fudge. We could at least say thanks, Stinky. Watch your mouth, Brother Leroy. I done had a stomach full of wise boys for one day. Uncle Faster. Morning. What brings you clear over here? Ma sent word she wanted to see me about something. I think my boys are already in there. Well, I ain't seen them. Of course, I've been down by the chicken barn all morning. Lord, it's been hot, Faster. Yeah. How you boys been? Oh, cantankerous and lazy, as usual. They still working on that old pickup? Uh, they got that truck so hopped up, it ain't safe to exterior in town for nobody. <laughs> they going to town court and every night, Faster. Exactly. <laughs> Howdy, Ma. Good day, Jim, Ma. Where's Billy Joe? She's gonna get a radio, Ma. Go get her. I wanna hear. What y'all sitting around for? Somebody died? Mind your tongue, young lady. There's your elders here. <laughs> I'm gonna kick you, Peter. Billy Joe, sit. I want you all to listen to me, careful. It's 
been nigh on 30 years since I had all my kids here together. And I reckon I got a right to see them all before I die. Oh, Ma. Quiet, Fester. No one lives forever. Come to think of it, you've been looking mighty peaky lately. Maybe you better get some more collard greens in your vittles. So, I invited all the living kin that I could find to come here and see their old grandma before she kicks the bucket. Stop that. Now don't you go getting teary-eyed over nothing. I outlive most everyone in this whole family, and I reckon I got a right to die when I wants to. Fester, I want you to make all our kinfolk comfortable when they gets here. There's lots of room in the barn for them that wants to stay overnight. Billy Joe, Jenny, you can make up a bed in one of them old chicken coops. Ma, well, I can't sleep in an old chicken coop. What's the matter, Princess? You too good for a chicken coop? Ma, make her stop. Hush up, both of you. You do as I say, or I'll take this here cane to you. How come you haven't been seeing me in a whole week, Leroy? Because I've been busy. <laughs> Melanie, somebody is going to catch us. Now, come on. I don't care. I've been needing you. Well, listen, there's there's an empty pen there. We, we, we can go inside there. Come on, but hurry. I don't want to get caught. Well, I can put these down here. This. Howdy, Job. Howdy, Phyllis. How's all the young? Well, just fine, Fester, and how's Ma? Oh, fine, round the corner, sitting in the shade. Is that the here, Why, sure is, hon, but I can't say exactly where. Why don't you just go and look for her? Now, Joe, let's go and have a little talk with Ma, and then I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have a little drink here. Mm. Now, Joe, you got no call to go drinking too much. Remember, this is Sunday. Now, you know I never drink too much, honey. <laughs> hey, Fester! How are y'all, Mule? My goodness, Treaky, where's all the young'uns? Oh, they're coming. They stopped to talk to Billy Joe down at the gate. Howdy, Joe. How howdy, Phyllis. Howdy, howdy Mule. Howdy, howdy Treaky. Now, y'all, come on. Ma's waiting for us over here. Those ever-loving country cousins. Here it is, right where I put it. Oh, come on, get open it. We're gonna be caught sure shooting. I'm a hurry in the lid stuck. Oh, here, let me then. You can get it, Leroy. Sure, I got it. Don't talk all day. Take a drink and hand it over. Don't you get in too much a hurry, Jeff. I didn't trade my best knife for this bottle. <clears throat> Leave him alone, Jeff. You're gonna make him spill it. Man, that's smooth. <laughs> you can't do no better, Leroy. Yeah? Well, I'll show you then. I've been drinking for years. <laughs> he ain't breathing. I do believe you're right, Brother Jeter. Are you right? <coughs> Can I have a drink? 
No. You ain't supposed to be a drinking. You ain't neither. Sides, I'll tell. Better give her a drink, Leroy. Sides, <coughs> she won't be able to swallow it anyway. Boy, I never thought it. You did that better than any man I ever seen, Billy Joe. <laughs> wow. That was powerful good, Billy Joe. Where'd you learn to drink like that? Oh, somewhere. Here, let me try again. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe we ought to post a lookout in case any of the kids come around? Ain't nobody gonna find us here. Now, Chris, come out wherever you are. Wow. You gotta see this big car that drove me. I think it's the president. The president's here. The president's here. Come on, let's all go see his president. Come on, come on. <laughs> President's car. I didn't say it were. Did two? Did not. Did not. You did two say it. Did. What? Is that the way we welcome our relatives? Everyone, this is Prudence. She's a Peabody. Now you can just go around and meet everyone in your own time. My Prudence, you've grown up. Now, you just come on and sit a spell. Where's your daddy, Brother Bartholomew? In London, visiting the Prince of Wales. Do tell. Yes, I do. Uh, Fester, you and Joe go fetch Prudence a drink. Uh, I never drink before five. Oh, that's all right. We haven't got any clocks out here. Come in and sit a spell while Fester fetches some corn liquor. I'd prefer a martini. Oh, well, what's it made out of? Uh, I could have made some and not known the name. Well, I could have. My, it's warm here. <laughs> Father insisted that I come and extend his regrets at not being able to be here. Oh, shame. He can't make it. Well, ain't no never mind. I'm glad you could come. Fester, where's your manners? It ain't polite to give a lady of upbringing to swig from a jug. Fetch her a glass. Hello, 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 hello. How long has your pa been gone? Oh, about three months now. Here's to the family reunion. <sighs> hey, yeah. all you kids get. We don't have just because you said so. I'll tell you, Paul, young lady. I can tell something, too. You know about the bar. Well, better we should leave and pretend we didn't see. 
People don't drink all that shine. Yeah, Uncle Fester? Leroy, why don't you walk Prudence around the farm and introduce you to some of the animals? Sure, Ma. a country cone will rub the rough edges of the city off a person. <laughs> Beats me. How she changed so quick. <laughs> Would you believe I went out with a man that looked just like that? <laughs> <laughs> you sure look funny, ma'am. <laughs> you sure do. But them pigs, they ain't bad looking. Oh, really? Well, just because you're my cousin, that doesn't give you the right to make disparaging remarks about my appearance. <laughs> hey, Cousin Prue. Well, I didn't mean to make you mad. I ain't rightly sure it is what you're saying, but it's how pretty you are. Shucks, I think you're as pretty as any pig I ever seen. I don't believe I'm going to talk to you anymore. Hold on now. You're taking the whole thing wrong. I think pigs are pretty. Of course, some ain't as pretty as others, but they got their good and bad points the same as people do. You take that big sow over there. Why, she's as gentle and sweet as any person you could pick. See how she crinkles her eyes up when she smiles at you? Do you think she would like me? Well, I, I reckon she'd like you well enough, ma'am, but I don't think she'd want to sleep in the same room with you, no. <laughs> you don't even try to be polite, do you? Well, ma'am, I ain't trying to be dispolite. I mean, Prue, it's just that... Well, well you see, pigs... Pigs, it's, it's hard to make friends with them, you know? You have to take your time. And and they'll like you, you know? They'll like you if you just take your time to like <laughs> That was them. a good drink we had up there. Could I have another one? Why, sure, man. We've got plenty in the barn. Come on. I'm a nice out here in the country. Don't worry. Hey, How come you haven't come to see me all week? I was planning on coming tonight. Anybody seen you? <laughs> I don't know, but I don't care. But we're having a reunion. <laughs> come on. Oh, not here, baby. <laughs> come on. Joe, it ain't that bad. We already seed you once without no clothes on. Yeah, that's right. We done see what you got. We just wanted to see it again. It were different then, though. That were an accident. Oh, come on, Billy Joe. All we want to do is look and touch. Sure, that's all. Just look and touch. Well, I guess it's okay. Promise now, though. Just look and touch. Well, don't hog it all. I want to see, too. There's plenty of room here for both of us. You boys don't stop it. We're going to have a whole pathful of people out here watching. Besides, 
I want another drink. Oh, God, don't stop. Well, hand her a drink, Jeter. Okay, here. Ain't you drinking no more? Yeah, sure, but right now I'm watching. You mean I got a drink alone? Well, hell no, I'll, I'll take a drink, but, but go ahead. Jeff got to take a drink, too, or I won't do it. I'll do it, I'll do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've seen people swing from ropes before. How do they hold up? <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll show you. Take the rope. You make a knot in the end of it, see? Bring it back over the top. You just sit on my gift there, see? You just sit on You gotta pull your dress up before you can do it. You have to pull it all the way up there. Yeah. Please don't anybody look. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, shit. Where are you going? Just here. Where are you? Where are you? Just go in the other stall, change my clothes. Oh, Lord, Billy Joe, I don't care. Just hurry up, will you? Okay. I sure. Where are you going, Brother Jeter? Let me be. I didn't do nothing, Jeter. You mad at me? Lord, Jeff, if you don't let me be, I'm gonna bust you one you ain't never gonna forget. What did I ever do? You mad at me? Billy Joe! Billy Joe! You see Billy Joe? I quit. I just quit. Yeah. Jeff Peabody, you're drunk. <laughs> oh, cousin Bru. I don't know. You have any more of that fine whiskey? No, but I know where we could go get some more. Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, Jeff, can we have a drink of that? <laughs> well, thank you, partner. <laughs> she sure was pretty. Oh. Jeff, you better not let your paw catch you like this. Hey, come on. They're gonna have a chicken chase. Come on, Leroy. Why? I'm old enough, ain't I? You'll never convince Mom. <laughs> Better stay in the barn, Jeff. You ain't fit to chase your own tail. <laughs> Blame it on me. Whoever catches this here chicken gets that goat as a prize. Okay? Here
cousin from the big city. Cousin <laughs> Fruit. I don't know when I've had so much fun, Leroy. Well, we don't either, except when there's a wedding or a dance. I want you all to come to my house for a big party. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Going to the... My God, Mary. I don't know what got into me. To invite all those dirty people to my lovely home. I don't know. It might be fun to have them to a party here. I mean, can't you imagine how everyone will laugh at them? <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. It might be a type of entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Hi. How are you? Just fine. What's this? What brings you? Well, me and me and Uncle Fester and, and the family and Jeter and Jeff and Billy Joe and all of us is going up to the city to see Cousin Prue for a couple of days. And, well, I just thought I might stop by and say goodbye. Oh, well, I'm real glad you decided. I, I figured you're just going to go right on out without even... Hey, Norma Jean, I wouldn't do that to you at all. Oh, sit huh. down, Leroy. Norma Jean, you know? Yes, Leroy. We've been knowing each other for a long time. I Went know. to school together and everything. Norma Jean, I, I really think that I got a big liking for you. Oh, Leroy, I'm so glad to hear you say that. I never could tell you what I felt about you, but I, I figured you could see it. I'm gonna miss you. No, Regina, I'm gonna miss you too. You're not gonna forget about me there in the city with those. Oh, no, Regina, I ain't gonna forget about I'm you anyway. I hope not. Yes, dear boy. About the most pretty thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. You look awful good to me, too. Oh, dear boy. Mama Jean, please. Kiss me, dear boy. I'm afraid. Oh, now, I'll be fine. You know, Prudence didn't really want anyone to come along anyway. She just had a bad case of the clone whiskey friendless. Well, uh, now, Job is going to come over and check on you every morning, and Tuber's going to come over and help with the milking and feeding, and Mary Lee's going to come over and do the cooking. Now, I done told you I don't want no one messing around in my kitchen. What do you ask her for? Well, I didn't, Ma. She just told me she was going to do it. Bye, Bester. Bye, Ma. Bye, Ma. Bye, Ma. Bye. Ma. Bye, Ma. Bye. Bye. Now, mind that pig don't fall out. Who's going to ride up here with me? I will. All right.
to let the pig go to the toilet. Hate to let him go in the truck. Matter of fact, we don't like it too much. Sure was polite of him to stop, especially when it looked like he was in such a hurry. How much more we gotta go, Uncle Fester? Oh, another couple of hours, I reckon. Hey, you kids would better be getting that pig down. Be careful with him, Jeff. He's a present for Cousin True now. Come on, Jeff. <laughs> Boy, I can hardly wait to see Cousin True's face when she sees this here pig. Now, Connie, I'm sure you can find some old hillbilly clothes somewhere. Good. I'm counting on you. Bye now. Fräulein Mary to see you. You may send her down. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Jack. Did you find any old overalls? <laughs> Marvelous. See you around nine. Are those oaky cousins of mine ever going to be surprised? <laughs> She's really going to be surprised to see that pig. I just hope that pig likes her house. Well, pigs makes mighty fine pets. I never seen anyone take the pigs as she did. Help you? Uh, we come to see Cousin Prue. <coughs> she is expecting guests, but I doubt very much that she is expecting you. If you don't mind, we'll just step in and ask her. You will not. You will wait right here until I talk to the lady of the house. Oh. He weren't very friendly. Well, maybe he thinks we were rapping to her, and he went to tell Cousin Prue so she can go out the back door. From the looks of this house, I don't think that. Cousin Bartholomew's too worried about revenue. Maybe these are gangsters and hold a capture like in the movies. No, I'll tell you what I think it is. That feller is just constipated and he ain't feeling good. Probably so. Yeah. Miss Perkins said that you are to be admitted and shown to your rooms. She is indisposed at the moment. Did you call a doctor? I beg your pardon, ma'am. Is Cousin Prudence very sick? No, ma'am, she is not sick. Oh. 
Well, let's get in. We're letting the flies in. Yeah, but don't have me anyway, even door. if he does talk funny. He's got a screen door, Jeter. Can the ladies please follow me? I certainly hope they bathe before they come down. Did they smell badly the last time you saw them? Darling, everything smelled badly. <laughs> How do you like it? Oh. You'll be hilarious tonight. <laughs> Those country bumpkins should look so good. Well, where's my costume? Oh, it's the pink and white stripe hanging up over there. Oh. Thought you'd like it. That little apron adds just Billy's in one room. Me neither. They must really be dumb to come here and hope to be accepted. They really are dumb. They'll probably be so embarrassed they won't want to stay. I sure hope they don't. Quiet, everyone. They're coming. Attention. The Virginia Peabody's. <laughs> Wait a minute, here, try it with this. I think it'll be a little better. Well, thank you. That day, thank you. I never realized y'all was having a costume party. Why, you're dressed just like my folks back home. Well, Ma always did say the greatest compliment you can pay a person is to imitate them. And I want you to know, we sure appreciate it. Now, when Prudence was down visiting us, she won a prize in a chicken chasing contest, and we brung it with us. No. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> and we all enjoyed her so much, and she had so much fun, that we brung her a surprise present. Bring it in, Jeter and Jeff. <laughs> oh, how cute. <laughs> Me and my favorite cow back home. Well, thank you. Right here. Well, what you do is take off your clothes. Well, do you take off yours too? Why, sure. I introduce myself. My name is Walter Wimpy, and I just happen to be a personal manager. What, what, what's a person manager? Well, that's somebody who manages you personally. Uh, why don't we uh, go someplace where we can uh, talk it over when there's not so much noise? Mm -hmm. oh, everyone is so nice in this city. <laughs> what are we doing now? Well, I ain't rightly sure. Well, we could start looking and touching. Yeah, that's it. You'll need clothes and arrangements, of course, and many other things. But I don't have any money. <laughs> My dear, that's perfectly all right. You don't need any money. You see, I'm just more than willing to wait until you make your money, and then I'll get mine. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hear someone cry? I didn't hear a thing.
from every minute. I'd like to talk to you for a little while. The clothes and arrangements and many other things, and you'll have to have a band to go with it, but uh, mm. yeah, the room certainly is empty, isn't it? Yes, sir, I like an empty room. <laughs> well, now, I know what you're wondering. You're wondering, uh, where are you going to get the money for all this? Well, you just don't worry. Old Walter Wimpy pays for everything, and then when you get wow, the uh, mm, big... Uh, certainly is an empty room, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> when you get to be a big rock and roll star, you can just pay me back. <laughs> oh, I'm a good singer, too. Oh, that's what I've heard. I'm just sure you are. Of course, I've got to check you out physically first. Uh, check me out. Uh-huh. Oh, now, honey, that ain't gonna change nothing. Oh, Pastor, I wish I could die right here and now. Well, honey, dying's for old folks uh, what ain't got nothing left to do here on Earth done about everything wrong on her. Oh, now, honey. I think if you'd just kind of step outside and look around, you'd come to realize we didn't get all the good things we got just overnight, like. Uncle Fester, I gave that party to make fun of you. I think everybody knew it. Now. Listen. I was an absolute snob when I came out there, and and I had a couple of drinks and let my hair down and had more fun than I'd, than I'd ever had in my life. And we paid you all with a slap in the face. You think the family will... forgive me? Well, honey, you know, families are funny things, and, and we got a kind of a code in the hills. You know, we can fight all we want twixt ourselves, but no outsider better, buddy. And, Prudence, you're a Peabody, and nobody expects you to be perfect, especially us Peabodies. And I think if you really think it over, you'll come to realize that we don't bear any grudges, just a lot of love for each other. I'll fix you this time, Penny. Sorry, cousin. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I told you I'd help you, Jeter, if you tell me what's wrong. I ain't gonna ask nothing like that from my younger brother. Cousin Prue, maybe you could help me. I'd be happy to if I can, Jeter. Jenny Peabody! <laughs> oh, oh, Cousin Prue, make her stop. What are we having? Family meeting? Well, it looks more like we're uh, having a meeting of the minds. We're going to be leaving pretty soon, Uncle Fester. Yeah, we are, pretty soon. Maybe I can come and visit you again soon? You do that, Prue. <laughs> <laughs> She's the kind of gal who wants to be everybody's pal. Oh, Billy Joe, oh, Billy Joe, why do I love you when I know I can't have you? You're driving me crazy, my mind is getting lazy. Oh, me, oh, my, oh, Billy Joe. 